Hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I trust you're all getting along admirably. Today, I'm eager to welcome you their most recent reports on the Iraqi dinar, remembering bits of knowledge for the cash conversion standard and late advancements inside Iraq's monetary scene. Along these lines, without burning through any time, we should begin. If you find this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I wish you all long life, good health, and prosperity. Now, let's dive into the details. Today, we're focusing on the latest insights from Intel groups and key economic updates concerning the Iraqi dinar, IQD. Notably, Frank26 recently discussed what Dr. Shabibi, a prominent figure in Iraq's economic landscape, has prioritized in order to bring forth a new exchange rate for the dinar. One of the central goals is to remove the three zeros from the currency, a significant step towards revitalizing Iraq's economy. Dr. Shabibi has emphasized the importance of stability and security as fundamental requirements for implementing these changes. The banking system in Iraq has faced challenges in the past, but recent developments suggest a positive shift. Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani has taken significant control over the banking sector, having shut down over 100 problematic banks. This decisive action aims to restore confidence and enhance the integrity of the banking system. Sudani is now focused on establishing new banking centers with support from the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI. This initiative aims to modernize the banking landscape and ensure that it aligns with international standards. Many are beginning to agree that Sudani's measures are paving the way for a more stable banking environment, which is essential for fostering economic growth. An interesting point raised by Intel guru MN relates to the current rate of the IQD in the quantum financial system, QFS which is reported to be around $396. This figure is significant as it falls within the expected range aligned with predictions for the dinar's future value. This optimistic outlook contributes to the growing confidence among investors and stakeholders regarding the dinar's potential revaluation. Let's break down the concept of redenomination, or the process of removing zeros from a currency. This typically occurs when a country experiences severe inflation, causing the local currency to lose its value. To counteract this, countries often opt to remove zeros to create a new currency structure. A notable example is Zimbabwe, which revalued its currency in 2006 by adopting a rate of 1,000 old Zimbabwe dollars for every new dollar. Another instance can be observed in countries that join a monetary union like those in the Eurozone, which replaced their local currencies with the Euro. The primary goal of removing zeros is to control inflation, facilitate trade, and stimulate economic growth. However, this decision isn't made lightly it requires thorough economic analysis and is often part of a broader strategy to modernize financial systems, including transitioning to digital currency platforms countries must implement additional economic and financial measures alongside redenomination to ensure the process is success. For Iraq, the potential for redenomination is a complex decision influenced by various economic reforms currently in place. If executed correctly, this could significantly benefit the economy and improve citizens' quality of life. The ongoing efforts to stabilize and strengthen the dinar are promising, and many are hopeful for a brighter economic future for Iraq. What are your thoughts on Iraq's ongoing efforts to improve its currency and overall economy? I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments. Remember to like, share, and engage with this video if you found it informative. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.